Welcome to our tour of the Centre for Creativity and Collaboration. My name's Michael Nelson, I'm Head of Middle School here at Kerry. Uh, the new middle school building that is designed specifically for middle school learning and developing opportunities for students to engage with a sense of space to create great learning outcomes. We know that education is at a crossroads and that young people are learning in multiple ways, whether that's um, physically here on campus, online, um, in experiences off campus, such as our Tunaluk campus. So moving you around the building, you'll see lots of um, references to the new space of learning and the importance of space in learning. Um, and you'll understand how the building references the Carey journey, which is very much to build a whole person, to create um, a year 12 student that has navigated the six years of their journey from year seven to 12 and are ready for uh, the wider world once they get there, but also ready to make a difference. And the building um, speaks to that notion that at Carey we care, um, at Kerry we see the importance of the individual but also as a part of a collective and that we see beauty and joy in the things around us. So the building is um, I guess a visual representation of that wonderful Kerry notion that it takes a village to raise a child and that children can make a difference in this world and through their six years here they can grow into wonderful young adults that give back and make a difference in the world. I hope you enjoy your journey through the middle school understanding what we're trying to achieve from both a learning and a pastoral perspective with our year sevens, eights and nines and that the way the building references both the heart and the head in a student's journey through their life in middle school. One of the really key components of the new middle school is its aesthetic value. We know for young people a sense of joy and wanting to be a part of something um, is really critical for them engaging in the building and the messages this building talk about in terms of things being light, ethereal, um, it sits lightly in its landscape, it has a connection to both your heart and your head. It's a wonderful uh, subliminal message that the students get every day when they move through the building. Another aspect that um, is really critical is that sense of beauty, a sense of wonder, a sense of um, fun, a, a sense of um, curiosity and creativity oozes out of every pore of the building and is a wonderful uh, reference point for adolescents to understand the joy of learning and to make it visible to everyone, to, to see fun in architecture, to see beautiful spaces, creates a sense of belonging and an opportunity for students to feel safe and comfortable. A key innovation in the building is also its environmental credentials. It's a five-star rated building, um, and one of the things that's wonderful is that throughout the middle school journey, students are analysing aspects of that, whether it's our solar panels or the building's orientation in relation to the sun. Um, we have south over this way, we have passive heating from the sun. It's carefully being placed in a way that sends message to young people around sustainability, um, key aspects of climate change and our relationship to looking after the environment in order to make sure that students understand that how they look after the planet is going to have a big determinant on how long the planet's with us. A key component of um, being safe as an adolescent is that you need to feel like you belong. And both in a physical sense and a personal sense, our students have an opportunity to connect to a sense of space. Uh, behind me here is our house area. We have Morehouse and Hickman House, who share a common area where students um, can collaborate, uh, can work together on leadership aspects if you're in year nine. Year sevens can work with our year eight students, maybe on some homework or on some goal setting. Setting. Um, students can get together to have a meal or to have a hot chocolate and feel like they can converse and connect to their heads of house and also their mentors. Along the street uh, there is learning and also a sense of place and home in our pastoral teams in both Hickman and Morehouse here. The street provides an avenue of engagement and then every morning when students make their way down the street, um, it reveals new things each day, whether that's a new classroom set up or a teacher has arranged something um, in the pastoral space for that morning. Um, and it, it's a focus as the students arrive, so they have a sense of space and connection and home. Two really key aspects of learning in middle school is collaboration and creativity. Um, and this zone here is very much 
are designed to allow students and teachers to find opportunities to connect disciplines, to find pl places and uh, materials that can be used across two different domains. So it might be history and art coming together, it might be science and maths coming together, it, it might be physical education um, and poster making through an art design process. Uh, and this area here gives staff and students an opportunity to have a hub to come to, to create something unique, to say, take something beyond the classroom and make it um, more meaningful, but also more uh, tangible and more hands-on. Behind me is a, a social space and a connection space that provides an opportunity to create uh, places where students can have a voice. Um, whether that's a house meeting together on the steps here in the amphitheatre, watching some material online, or perhaps a student giving a speech around something that's really critical to them. At times during class, a teacher might bring multiple classes out here and they might watch the same material and then break up and find opportunities to discuss that in different ways ways. So having these spaces dotted throughout the building creates um, incidental and specific places for student leadership, student connection and collaboration. One of the key aspects of the building is the functionality of the rooms and the way that they can use different modes of teaching, whether that's as a single classroom with 25 students in it, or whether we open a door and have two classes of 25 working together with a team teaching approach, or indeed if we open up all three uh, walls and then use this external space to create collaboration zones across the three groups of 75. So the advantage of the walls being able to move is that we can be incredibly flexible um, around what and how we want to teach and what mode we want to teach in. The other thing that's beautiful about the um, transparency of the classrooms is that the learning wherever you are in the building is visible. You can't not see the learning take place as you move your way around the building. So learning becomes the narrative of the building. It becomes the key component of every kid's subliminal message as they move around the building is that this is a place of rich, deep learning and that learning takes place all of the time, regardless of whether you're in a single classroom or whether you're in a breakout space collaborating with your peers or whether you're watching one of the senior students um, working on a key component of a, a STEM task. Everywhere where you move in the building you can see learning take place which is a really rich and powerful message for a young person as they move through middle school. This is our wonderful carry room and you can see the ottomans behind me uh, have a configuration of a campfire and the idea in this room is it creates a uh, safe space for students to analyse quite deeply who they are and how they fit um, and to see their advocacy in terms of making a difference in the world which is a key aspect of the carey journey. How do our young people um, equip themselves to make the world a better place when they leave carey? This wonderful science space is a really good example of how throughout the middle school building we have precincts of disciplines um, that uh, in of themselves create a knowledge zone, a place where you can collaborate and learn. You can see in this building um, that the students would be able to make their way around from one science experiment to the other. They could do a learning walk and see what one student's found in their experiment and, and perhaps see what another student's found. And it's very much about a collaboration space, a hands-on space. Um, and then it's the interplay between science and our arts or science and our math zone or science and even our humanities in terms of making those natural connections um, between the aesthetics of this beautiful space and the science which underpins everything that we know about our world and how it interrelates with each other. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of middle school. It's a wonderful building and you will have seen how much it'll make a difference to the lives of young people both now and into the future.